I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe That's just how it goes cause I like Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm going to play with this Golem deck. As you guys can see, a pretty cheap Golem deck because it's only 3.8 um, average elixir cost. So it's a really cheap cycle. As you can see, I use Poison over Lightning in this Golem deck. Just because I think Poison is better versus the current meta like defensive troops. For example, the Night Witch, the Electro Wizard, etc. It does suffer versus Heal Spell more. But because of your quick cycle and because of the golem is such a heavy tank, I feel like versus uh, Tree Mask heal it isn't even that bad of a matchup. I mean with this deck I often beat Tree Mask as well. Just because as I said like it cycles so quick and the Tree Mask heals uh, decks are often like heavier than this golem deck. Like often Tree Mask heal decks are like 4, 4 point something and this is only 3.8. And I already did a few battles on 4-0 so not too far into the grand challenge but around the middle so let's actually hop into a match right now this is the deck again uh, while playing i will of course give him more tips about this deck and show a little bit what to do and what not to do because with this deck often i take a little bit of damage and pump up so i will get a huge elixir advantage and then in double elixir sometimes i even get a double golem push or like double lane and then both um in both lanes a golem so it looks like this guy has a P.E.K.K.A which is also a hard matchup but as I said like such a qu uh, quick cycle so you can out cycle his counters. Uh, let's actually cycle to the, the, uh, the Night Witch by dropping the Mega Man onto the left side. And it, it is a good poison by him so well played by him. And let's see. I will poison defense and I think I will lock. Yes I will lock just to uh, damage the P.E.K.K.A a bit more and kill the Electro Wizard. And by placing the lock, we also cycle back to the collector. So that that just shows how uh, how quick the cycle is. And we have goblins ready. I mean, we don't have the elixir yet, but I know that he will. Oh, he actually has back a graveyard. So let's drop goblins right now. Unfortunately, we don't have the lock. So let's try to um, keep the goblins alive. Two goblins are alive. We do sort of lose the uh, the pump, but we have a new one on the right side, and we definitely have a huge elixir advantage. So it wouldn't like be bad to already start with the golem. I would not recommend to, to put the golem as like an opening, um, opening move or whatever, or put it when you don't have a huge elixir advantage. But right now I know that we definitely have some elixir on this guy. So let's support it with the night witch. If he gives us poison value, I have the poison ready. If not, I will support it with the mega minion. But of course, we want the Pekka to die. So I think I will do both. I have enough for the Mega Man and I have enough for the Poison. He does have a nice Poison as well. Let's drop an Ice Spirit as well. Hopefully be able to kill the P.E.K.K.A a little bit faster. He blocks the Ice Spirit with a Ice Golem. So well played by him. Really good defense by him. But as you can see the Night Witch etc. will kill his, his P.E.K.K.A. And while doing offensive we're still dealing damage. We're all also cycling back to another Collector. This time we have the Goblins ready uh, right away. Instead of having to wait for a little bit more Elixir. And we're about to hit um, overtime, or yes, uh, double elixir, I mean, not overtime. Um, we dropped the Night Witch to tank for the goblins. He drops, um, he, drip, he dropped goblins, graveyard, and a lock. And we only dropped six elixirs, so we're definitely, again, a good trade for us. And I know that he is Pekka, so I want to go with another collector, forcing him to either poison the collector or to poison our uh, push. And I think he will poison our push, which means we'll have more elixir in the next push. Uh, there you go, there's his poison already. So I think I was sending the Mega Man knowing that it won't die to poison. That is also why uh, Mega Man is so strong in this deck. And I think the Golem will still reach the tower. And I think it's time for another uh, Golem just all the way in the back. We have the Goblins ready for his Graveyard again. Let's say he goes with Graveyard. But yes, I think he will, yeah, he will definitely go with Graveyard. So let's have the Goblins ready. I will drop a Defensive Poison. I think he will poison an Offense. Actually a Prediction Lock, but I think still some Goblins will survive. Let's drop an Ice Spirit over there. The lock is not really needed. Unfortunately, the P.E.K.K.A. Does, uh, will kill the, the Golem, actually. Well, it will kill the Golem, but let's drop another Golem at the bridge. He does have another P.E.K.K.A., but I just need to get damage right now. And still, with, with the P.E.K.K.A. there, it will still reach the tower. And I will drop a Poison. Let's see if he drops a Night Witch into the Poison. Actually, Goblins, which is more value for us. Let's drop another Mega Man. Knowing that Mega Man doesn't die to Poison, we, are, we can uh, drop it behind. And he says well played. I think this is good uh, good game. One Mega Man, yeah, that's good game. Let's give him the good game, well played, and thumbs up. So, as you guys can see, like a P.E.K.K.A deck. P.E.K.K.A, you would say a hard counter to Golem. And of course, it's a good card versus Golem. But with this deck, like the quick cycle, etc. I hope I showed well how to play versus uh, the matchup. Like, uh, still being patient, I guess, with the collectors. Like, pumping up again, even though you're building up a push. Um, just don't want to win too quick, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. But I hope you guys uh, understand what I'm trying to say. 
But let's hop into this new one. So I will always try to start with a collector, um, except if my like hand is like golem. Um, I'm not sure like what the hand would be, but if it would be really bad, like I I need to have some defense at least because I know he will try to punish my collector. So I will always try to have some defense at least. And as I said, like it's okay to take some damage because you know that you will be up in elixir. Right now he spent a lot, and it was a pretty easy def uh, easy defense. I mean. So I'll drop goblins at the bridge just to force out a reaction and I'll pump up again because that we needed to cycle one more card for the collector. And let's see if the mecha main will actually lock on the, um, the night witch. Looks like it got one hit on the night witch which is good. Let's drop our own night witch and let's drop a mecha main or have the mecha main ready I mean uh, for his baby dragon. Because the mecha main is actually a really good counter for his the baby dragon. Let's drop an ice spirit as well just to make sure the mecha main will live. And let's drop goblins as well, which allows us to cycle again. So as you can see, like we're uh, defending and basically cycling collectors. And we will have a really, really strong push in double elixir because we have three collectors down right now. And we have enough for Gollum. And I'm not sure if he's like, I would say he is at the same elixir as us right now. He already calls good game. Let's give good game and the thumbs up. Well, he actually has a P.E.K.K.A. which will be, um, I mean, if he defends really well, it will be hard to come true. But as I said, we can just pump up again. Even though we do have a, a really big advantage, it's never bad to pump up again, just being patient. And let's drop the Mega Minion towards his Baby Dragon and let's poison as well. And let's just pump up again, knowing that his uh, defensive troops will die. And he will probably still need to respond to it or poison. Let's see, it looks like he drops his Night Witch and an Ice Golem. And we have enough for another Golem. I think we will just drop it when we have enough. We're uh, going into uh, Double Elixir right now as well. Looks like his Night Witch will die to our uh, first push still. And uh, let's drop an Ice Spirit just to clean up these beds. And let's see. I do give him Poison Value right here. But if he spends the Poison, we can cycle, I guess. And I will just pump up again. Like, I, I think this matchup, first Pekka matchup, it's really key to keep pumping up. And don't uh, go too aggressive, I guess. Let's have the Poison ready. I think I will Poison. Let's drop an Ice Spirit for his Night Witch. And let's actually go with another Night Witch. He has Fireball, so no Poison, which is really good for us. Actually, that's uh, way better. Um, I think I'll just pump up again. I'm pumping up so much with this deck. I think I'm, I will say pump up again in this episode really um, a lot of times. But let's poison his baby dragon. Two Mega Minions. One Mega Minion is locked on. Oh no, it's actually... It got distracted by the goblins. Well played by him. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> we have the Night Witch. Sorry, guys. We have the Night Witch for his graveyard. And let's see. I think that's a good game. Let's give him the good game. Well played. And the thumbs up. I'm not sure what happened with something in my throat, but let's see. So two wins already versus uh, Pekka. So Pekka Graveyard, which is really popular. But as you guys can see, like we're um, not easily beating it, but it's not really hard to come through the defense. Like you guys can see what I'm doing with the pushes and then pumping up at the same time. So never forget to like keep pumping up, especially like when you notice that you won't come through his defense. That's the moment when you should pump up again. Of course, it's risky. But with this deck, like, you have such a quick cycle, you can easily defend, like, for example, here, Mega Mean, Ice Spirit. He's trying to poison, um, punish the Collector. And, of course, the Poison will hit the Mega Mean, and the Mega Mean won't get much value. He does get a little bit of damage. But right now, we need one more card. Let's say he drops something, we can log it, and then we have another Collector. Uh, actually, he goes with the Mean Horde. So, I will send in Night Witch in the back. Hopefully, it will spawn uh, bats quick with the help of the Tower. Hopefully, we don't take too much damage. And let's pump up on the left side again. So I think this guy is using two musketeers, maybe with heal spell. Often with the main horde, you do see the heal spell. But I think we have an elixir advantage right now. So I'm not sure what to do right now. I think I will go towards the left lane. Let's say he puts two muskies all in one lane. I can poison his tower collector and musketeers, forcing him to heal spell. But it will still be a valuable poison instead of hitting nothing. He actually has a P.E.K.K.A. So P.E.K.K.A. two musketeers. If he has the heal spell as well, that will be the hardest counter I think I could imagine. For this deck but maybe we will be able to beat it if not no problem there you guys can see what the, the counter to this deck is as well but let's see i'll support it with the night witch and i think i'll poison right here yes he poisons in defense i'll poison as well and i'm not sure if he has um true musk by the way maybe he does he does have a main horde which often has true musketeers in it as well but his pekka died or almost died the night witch almost died i think i'll just look right here just to make sure they die uh, the P.E.K.K.A actually doesn't die, but I think with the one Ice Spirit, maybe it will die, let's see. Uh, no, it actually still doesn't die, but I think the tower should be... Wow, well, I will actually drop a Mega Man. I don't want to risk it at all. Uh, the Mega Man wasn't needed, I think, but 
I just don't want to risk a P.E.K.K.A hitting my tower, which is, I'm not sure how much damage, but it's definitely a lot of damage. And let's see, if he goes with another um, battle ram, I guess we could uh, poison in defense, but let's see what he has. I actually want, want to wait, oh, I think I will go into the same lane, like of course I could rush the other lane, but if he has two muskies, uh, he can still easily defend it, and then we have the P.E.K.K.A. So I know that he will have um, heal spell for sure, like with this deck, I think this deck has heal spell for sure so i actually want to wait for him to use his heal spell and then drop the poison so let's see um hopefully we're able to kill his muskies and pekka quite easily i think yeah there, there's his heal spell so right now he wasted his heal spell and now we can uh poison safely poison our lock as well so this will be great value for us and i think we will pump up one more time so let's pump up right now and i think we got the elixir advantage well he did he did cycle back to three muskies um, I'm not sure what to do right now in this situation. I will try to... I think he has heal spell again. So I will try to poison lock. But he definitely has heal spell again. Or if they die. He actually didn't have heal spell. Which is super good for us. We can pump up again. And well, if he had heal spell there. I think we would have died. Like he would have taken the tower. But it looks like he will pump up again. So now it's our time to... Um, to make a push. Hopefully a really big push. He does have poison as well. This is one of the hardest counters I've faced guys. But let's see what we can do. So he has a P.E.K.K.A in the back again. I have a Golem coming right now with the Night Witch. Let's see if we can um, we can cycle back to our Poison. Because he will use his heal spell for sure right now. So let's try to cycle um, to another Poison. And as you guys can see, like this deck cycles so quick. I will drop a Poison right now. I don't think we can get much out of this push. But maybe if the, the Muskies die and the uh, Night Witch stays alive. Looks like we do. Wow. Are we able to beat a really hard counter, guys? That would be insane. Let's go with the Night Witch. I think we overextended with the Night Witch at the bridge because he has a main horde. But we're actually doing really, really well for this counter deck. And I don't want to lose this, especially after playing so well. So he goes with... Wow. He goes with two muskies at the bridge and, and a heal spell as well. I think this is GG. We have nothing. Uh, let's try to Ice Spirit, but I think it's GG. 200 HP left. Let's actually poison right now, knowing that he has a main horde. Or Night Witch, and he has a poison as well. I think that's GG. Let's see if our Night Witch can connect. The Night Witch did, oh, didn't connect, and well, I think that's GG. 210 HP left. Good game. Well played. I'm not sure why he's BMing. It was actually really close, and he had one of the hardest counters possible. Uh, well, I'm not sure why he BM, but definitely good game. I hope you guys could learn from that um, battle. Definitely really interesting battle. We're able to cycle poison, as you guys saw, like when he used his heal spell. We're able to cycle poison. I'm not sure if we were able to beat it at the end, like what was the mistake. I think I uh, overextended a little bit with, um, oh wow, Ryo from Team Keso. Let's give him the thumbs up and the good luck. And actually, like from um, what I want to say about the last episode, like the last Night Witch, I think that was overextending, like with um, the Night Witch as a bridge because he had a main horde there. I think if I just would have like stay calm, I guess I guess I was a little bit too hyped for beating a counter or almost beating a counter. But let's see, he has a really good poison. I will drop goblins for his um, Electro Wizard. I think the Night Witch should be able to kill the Ice Golem. And let's see if we. Um, what he does to the Night Witch. Let's see if he drops something. I think I'll uh, pump up in the right side. Knowing that he already dealt a little bit of damage towards the left side. And he actually goes in with a Miner and a Night Witch. So well played by him. Let's lock his Night Witch and the Ice Spirit. And hopefully we're able to kill those bats quite quick. He does take out our pump. So really well played by him. And let's see. So I think his deck doesn't have a building. Because he showed his, um, his Night Witch. He showed Ice Golem, Goblins I think. So quick Miner cycle with Poison. Um, and Electro Wizard as well. I forgot the Electro Wizard. So I think I'll just pump up again. And maybe he will try to predict Goblins or something. Let's see. Let's drop an Ice Spirit right now. And let's drop a Mega Min as well. And I think he will take down the tower right here. Because we're really low on Elixir. But let's poison. Hopefully we can get the poison in time. But it looks like he will take the tower right here. Let's see. 800 HP. The Miner is still chipping away. And I think it's time to for us to build a, a push. Because he's constantly punishing us. Really well played by him. So let's, uh, let's give him the well played. And let's see. So it looks like he's using a control deck. And he can punish our collectors really well. So I think maybe if we can build up a push. We should be able to come through his defense. But we do have to watch out for him punishing uh, us dropping 8 elixir. Because the golem is really expensive of course. And we don't have that much elixir. So it looks like he's already going aggressive. 
Um, let's see if I can kill the Night Witch because I'm not too worried about the Miner. We can take a little bit of damage and then form one really big push because he still needs to take down the left side tower. And wow, he's playing this really well. I think he will rush towards the uh, left lane right now. And let's see what he does. So he has the um, Goblins right there. Let's try to predict his Miner. I think maybe towards the back. Let's actually drop a Night Witch uh, behind the Golem. And let's see, this, this will be a really close game, guys. I will poison his Electro Wizard, his, um, his Night Witch as well. Drop a Mega Min for his Night Witch just to make sure it dies a little bit quicker. He used his lock, so maybe the Goblins can get some value right now. Let's go in with the Night Witch as well. But he's playing defense really, really well. He's cycling his troops really well. And I don't think we are able to come through. The tower is locked on our Night Witch. Um, he cycled another Electro Wizard. Wow, that's insane. Well played by him. Definitely well played. And let's try to predict his Goblins. Or let's try to predict his Miner with the Goblins. But it looks like he dropped his Miner in a really good uh, spot. And wow, well played by Ryo. Definitely really well played. Give him the thumbs up as well. And wow, he played really well. Interesting deck by him. Let's see how much that uh, deck cycles. I might even copy it and then do um, an episode on later. We are actually in the same clan as you guys can see. And let's see. So two back-to-back -back losses. The first, um, let's see. No, the first match was here. First Packer Graveyard. Two wins and then two losses. And actually, like um, this, like the two first matches was quite easily. Then the last or the. Um, the second last match was really really close with the hard counter and in this one i mean we sort of got wrecked like he played super well especially with his miner like punishing our collectors i think in that matchup we uh, shouldn't have pumped but i guess like if we drop the eight elixir column and we don't have an elixir advantage which is like the um, the the collector gives you elixir advantage but if we don't have the elixir advantage and we drop down eight elixir i think he would still be able to like go all in in one lane then we are forced to defend that and then we still can support our golem but let's see how much it cycles so i think it cycles really quick 2.8 um minor cycle deck so i might actually copy it if you guys want to see an episode on this uh minor deck definitely let me know and well it's actually funny because i'm also in team castle so team castle versus team castle but again this is the deck guys so two wins two losses um i expected a little bit better but as you guys uh saw like in the last not the last match versus Rayo, but uh, the one before versus the Chinese guy. That way it was so close. Uh, I definitely hope we could have won that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, smack that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye!